Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Cross video. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about what we are currently calling Special Variant Monsters. Although, personally, I'd rather call them Extreme Variants. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I spoke about these briefly when the new Monster Hunter Cross trailer dropped on Monday, but the most recent issue of Femetsu shed a little bit more light, so I figured I'd dedicate this video to explaining how the new system works and what monsters it currently includes. Plus, there's also a new one that was not shown in Famitsu, so make sure you stick around to find out what that one is. And while you're here, if you guys do enjoy this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like. With the demo dropping next week, I'll have no shortage of Monster Hunter Cross videos for you guys, so your support is always very much appreciated. Anyway, let's begin. So first up, what are special variant monsters? Well, to better explain the monsters, let me begin by explaining the system. While it hasn't been categorically confirmed just yet, it is looking highly likely that Monster Hunter Cross will not have G-Rank quests. It will have low rank and high rank, that much we know for sure, but judging by the looks of things, no G-Rank. This is not, however, the first Monster Hunter game to not have G-Rank. Most recently, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, the one that was Japan only and featured Yukuma Village, which you'll see in Cross, also only had low and high rank, but still didn't feel like a small game. However, in Cross, this is where special permit quests come in. See, the special permit system is another series of quests that you'll do after low and high rank, but this time against much tougher and unique variants of existing monsters. In the most recent trailer, we got a glimpse at three of these, Rathalos, Azuros, and Zenoga. These are different to regular subspecies, which are typically just different in color and have perhaps one or two unique moves. The special variant monsters stand out much more. They have new attack patterns, appear to be much more aggressive, they're clearly more powerful, and they have unique names and icons. But if you do want to take on these fearsome beasts, then you'll need to collect tickets or coupons that'll actually let you go on these special permit quests. These tickets are either earned by street passing, or if like me you're importing and the chance of street passing is super slim, then you can also spend Y Academy points to buy these tickets. What's more, different quests will require different ticket quantities. For example, one of the monsters may require 3 tickets, whilst another, more difficult one, could cost 6, 8, maybe even 10. So one thing I know for certain, when I get my hands on the game at launch, I'm going to be sure to find the fastest way to farm Y Academy points, and I'll probably also make a video on it to show you guys as well. However, tickets are only half the battle. Some of these quests will also have Hunter rank restrictions, so you can begin to see, with all of these barriers to entry, these monsters are sure to present a pretty fierce challenge. Should you successfully hunt these new special variant monsters, however, you'll also obtain items needed to craft special versions of that monster's gear. The example we got in Famitsu was the variant of the Naga Kuga, the White Girl Naga. The sword and shield for this set has a passive skill that causes your hunter arts to charge faster, which is something I am super excited about because striker sword and shield is what I'm actually going to be maining. And given that striker allows you to use three hunting arts, then a sword and shield that also allows me to charge even faster means I'll be using them all the time. On top of that, the armor sets also provide a set bonus. Each piece has armor skill values just like every other piece of armor in the game. However, these special variant sets also have an additional skill that only activates when you are wearing a complete set of that monster's armor. And I've got to say, that is a really cool addition in my opinion, because as you know, when you get to the end game, everyone begins mixing their sets to try and get the best possible skills. And while that will still obviously be a thing, you'll also now have incentives to run complete sets too. These special sets also get their own rarity. Rare X or Cross, so that kind of goes to sort of show how special they are. So, with all of that said, what monsters do we currently have? Well, as mentioned, we have the Darkness Rathalos, the Crimson Bear Azuros, and the Golden Zenoga, as seen in the trailer, but then Famitsu also revealed the Deadly Princess Rathian, the Fortress Daimyo Hermitor, the Boulder Crusher Tetsukabra, and the White Gale Naga. However, the day after Famitsu dropped, Nintendo held their direct in various regions around the world and the Nintendo Direct in Japan had a couple of extra Monster Hunter Cross details. One of them was a collaboration which I'll talk about in a video coming next week, but they also announced another special variant, Violent Hook Claw Tigrex. And if you guys have watched my streams, then you'll know how much I love Tigrex. So this is definitely one I am super, super hyped for. I can't wait to see his weapons, I can't wait to see his armor, and I cannot wait to fight it. So with that in mind, right now that puts the total at 8 special variant <laughs> monsters. But what I do really like about this system is that there's scope to add more. I'm sure there are more we have yet to see and will either be announced very soon or once the game launches, but if not, they could quite easily add these in as DLC to help bolster Monster Hunter Cross's end game. Either way, I cannot wait to fight these new monsters, but let me know down below what you guys think of this new system and also which variant is your favorite from the eight we currently know. Make sure you keep it locked next week because starting Tuesday, I'll have Monster Hunter Cross videos every single day running up until the demo during the demo, and then of course into the launch of the full game. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe because it's about to get awesome. Thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.